Storm Tracker 13 meteorologist Andy Stein joins us right now. And Andy, right now the winds have really picked up and it's just going to be probably a few hours until we start to see some of those flakes. Yeah, it's not going to be long at all. And we have to love that Colorado sunshine, right? Melting yeah. the snow a day later. We may even be talking about some sunshine as we get into Thursday afternoon and Friday, which is going to help to melt some of that snow that we're expecting right now. Taking a look over Colorado Springs Powers and Woodman. This is going to look a lot different as we head into the next couple of hours. We have some pretty decently clear skies out there. Uh, that's going to start to increase the cloud cover, the snow potential, and then eventually that accumulation. So it's a great time to download the Storm Tracker 13 weather app. 34 right now uh, in Colorado Springs. It feels like 21. We have a pretty stiff wind coming out, uh, at us at about 26 miles per hour, and that is uh, just a sign of the changes in the atmosphere. Now, right now, again, looking outside the studio, we are really sunny and really gorgeous. You wouldn't even think that there was a storm on the way, but there is. We have that cloud cover that's starting to fill in, and we are also starting to watch our few first returns showing up of some snowfall way far north on I-25, uh, but that is going to be a sign of things coming. Winter weather advisories are up from Colorado Springs to Pueblo, Walsenburg to Trinidad. We are expecting about three to seven inches across all areas here, uh, and it is going to be mainly this evening and into the morning hours on Thursday. So for this evening commute, be on the lookout for a little bit of slick roadways. We're really going to watch for that snowpack to start to accumulate as we get maybe into your seven, eight o'clock hour, and then Thursday morning, it is definitely going to be a uh, tough commute, especially with temperatures dipping down to around 15 overnight. Cold day on Thursday before we clear out on Friday. I'm going to have a, a more in-depth look at what the rest of the region is going to be looking at coming up in just a couple minutes. All right, Andy.